Your Excellency, the Reverend Fathers, dear sisters, our youth and students from the University of Pangasinan, brothers and sisters in Christ. Salamat sa Diyos sa biyaya ng alaala. Ipinagdiriwang natin ang EDSA 1986 sa pamamagitan ng alaala ng hapuna ni Jesus noong gabi bago siya ipagkanulo. Ang People Power 1986 ay kinilala ng buong mundo bilang handog ng Pilipino para sa mapayapang pagbabago. It was a revolution of the rosary. It was a revolution and a picnic. It was a singing revolution. It was a dangerous yet smiling revolution. It was also called the Yellow Revolution. How did yellow become the color of protest in those years? My dear young people who were not born before EDSA 1986, it started with a song, Tie a Yellow Ribbon, which was about a soldier coming home, unsure if he was still welcome to the family. It was the song that was supposed to welcome Ninoy Aquino coming home from exile. He was not able to hear the happy song anymore and he was not able to see our yellow ribbons. He was killed as he came down from the plain while soldiers were on his left and on his right. Noong panahong yon, na parang lagi na lang takip silim at wala nang umaga, panlulumo at lungkot, pananamlay at pagkalito, kailangan kumapit sa bukang liwayway at bagong umaga. Pagkabaril po kay Ninoy Aquino, madidilim na ulap ng takot, ng pagtataksil, at malawakang pangungulimbat sa gobyerno, ay parang nakatakip sa buong Pilipinas. Dilaw ang naging kulay ng pag-asa at sariwang simula anuman ang kaharap. Dilaw ang kulay ng pakikihimagsik sa sariling pananamlay. Nais naming ipagpag ang sariling hina ng loob, hindi kontra kahit kanino ang dilaw. Ang dilaw ay kontra lungkot. After the happy yellow revolution of 1986 that celebrated our joy as a Christian nation, our colors became reasons for division and derision. Dilawan became a term of mockery. Pulahan became a fearsome term for the NPA or the color of the Marcos loyalists. Orange and green became the color of Erap para sa mahirap. Others, others changed their colors every election depending on who was likely to win. Hi buhay. Anong kulay ba talaga ang magliligtas sa atin? Ang pamumuni ba ay tagisan lang at palitan ng kulay sa gobyerno? Ano ba talaga ang kailangan ng bansa ngayon? Dilaw ba? O pula? O checkered? O green? Pula o puti? Sabungan na ba ang labanan? Hindi kaya masyado tayong napatitig sa mga kulay, kaya nabulag tayo sa tunay na mahahalaga. Does God have colors? Hindi ba lahat ng kulay ay bigay ng Diyos? Bakit nag-aaway-away tayo ngayon dahil sa kulay? Any color can give hope. Any color can bring joy. Any color can excite. 
any color can rouse positivity. If that color is backed by clarity and transparency. While the eyes of our history remember the yellow when we remember EDSA 1986, it was really the transparency of life and the clarity of vision and purpose that really gave us hope then. Transparency gives hope. Clarity lights many fires for more honesty. Crony capitalism is not transparent. Graft in plunder proportions is not transparent. Repression and murder of political opponents is not transparent. Vulgarity of words and the medley of falsehood are not transparent. Treason and treachery are not transparent. Ambiguity of vision is confusing and not transparent. Ang mga ito ay mga kampo ng dilim at kulay kasalanan. Kulay convict, kulay kriminal, kulay ng maraming itinatago. Wala kahit bahagyang kulay na makadyos. Linaw at liwanag, clarity and transparency ang ating kailangan. Ang linaw ng pagsasabi ng totoo ay pampaginhawa sa buhay. Ang linaw ng pagiging taos sa puso ay nagpapainit sa kalooban ng kababayan. Ang linaw ng kababaang loob ay umaantig sa pusong pagod na. Ang linaw ng pamumunang masigla ay hagdan patungo sa madaling araw. Transparency allows light to shine through. Transparency is simplicity. To be transparent is to be great in the kingdom of God. And the devil hates transparency. EDSA 1986 may be a yellow revolution as history writers saw the yellow banners, ribbons, and confetti. But it was more a revolution of transparency, a casting down of the arrogant dictator so that the pure and humble may reign. It was a victory for transparency of leadership. It was not about Marcos or Aquino. It was about clarity or ambiguity. It was about transparency or darkness. It was about honesty or trickery. Ang linaw at liwanag ay mga katangiang hirap na hirap nating makita ngayon. Maghimagsik tayo muli laban sa mga talumpating walang laman at pangakong bulaklak lang ng dila at wala namang buga. Ang pagkakaisa na walang galing at walang galang sa linaw ng katotohanan ay teamwork ng sindikato. Ang ganitong pagkakaisa ay pangalipin at hindi pampalaya. God has become transparent in Jesus Christ. The invisible hand of God has removed the barrier himself and now we can see God. Conscience must be clear and transparent always. That clear voice of conscience must be heard and obeyed lest we ruin ourselves. Let us celebrate the glorious days of EDSA 1986 by restoring transparency in our lives and clarity in each word we say. Reject the dishonest and choose the clear. Reject the liars who hide in ambiguous words and choose the wise and the precise. Reject the dark example of those who disregard the law and choose those whose lives allow the light of God to shine through. EDSA was a revolution of hope 
and joy and sunshine, not because it was yellow, but because it was a revolution of transparent clarity. There is no joy for liars. There is no life in dishonesty. If happiness and new life is what we seek, transparency is the only way and clarity is the only path. We need another revolution and it is a revolution for clarity of truth and transparent honesty. It is a revolution against lies that blur our vision. It is a revolution for leadership that is inspiring, a politics of principles, not personalities. Mabuhay ang totoo at matapat. Manindigan tayo para sa totoo at matapat. Sundin ang maliwanag at malinaw. Halapin ang malinis at huwag pabola sa walang ibubuga. Yun ang EDSA.